Hello everybody and welcome to our best bits of 2023. It's a little bit of a cop out video but it's a packed Christmas schedule at the moment so we're getting ahead and we've got a little moments for you. I know some people go oh what a shame there's no TFC video this week but don't you worry because we've got some big stuff coming next week. In the meantime enjoy our best moments of 2023. Harry do you think they're good? I think they're brilliant. I mean, you compiled them, so they should I be I had good. so much fun editing it. It was really funny to look at on some of the funny moments, some of yeah. the really you know important moments as well of the year. But honestly, it's a great laugh. It's a great watch, and I really hope you all enjoy it. So if you've got 20 minutes to share in or spare in this Christmas festive period, then please do check out this video. A lot of time had him spending editing it and obviously us doing it throughout the year. So a little reflection on the last year as everyone else is starting to do their get ready for January, get started in the new year. Take a moment to reflect on 2023, all the good times, all the bad times, all the very, very angry times at Christian Romero. A little teaser for later in the video. We'll be back at the end to give you a little Christmas message or a little end of year message. But in the meantime, enjoy the show. Rashford's made a brilliant run. Why is it? He's not used. He just smacked it in that hand. He's got face. Fred, though. Brilliant. But it's Rashford! Oh, 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 is he on? Is he on? He's not! He's on. He is! He's it's on. a goal! Manchester United is 2-1 United! Marcus Rashford, the form of his life, has scored against Man City and in the matter of just five minutes, or three minutes, or very small amount Watch of minutes, United have gone from losing to winning, City are fuming, Rashford scored, Harry's buzzing because he's captained him. What, what is going on? I've, I've lost it. What's going on? Manchester United lay hands on their first piece of silverware for six years. Ten Hag has won his first piece of silverware at Manchester United. A comfortable 2-0 victory over Newcastle. Deserved victory in the end. Newcastle, though, have done very well to get to the final. Manchester United also, but it's United who run out winners on the night. 4-0. A 2-0 Manchester United. You can't, you can't replace 20 Premier League goals very yeah. easily on Brentford's budget, can you? Like, so I do think they're in a slight bit bother there. Shade, that's it. Well, I'm Brentford. Uh, like he's been playing up front. Oh, and yeah. he is the Sharda. most woeful player I've ever seen. <laughs> he's young, though, isn't he? He came from yeah, Frankfurt or something like that. Not clue. But I saw him <laughs> when moves through, he squares it to this shade bloke, takes it all full time. Yeah, I can't pronounce his name in German. Shada. <laughs> Shada. Oh. You spell shade. <laughs> oh, Is his first name Lamb? Um, and he takes a woeful touch and then puts it wide. Open goal. Score to win for Sevilla. For Sevilla. And who will step up for that all decisive penalty? That looks like Suso to me. No, it's not. It's gone Montiel. Carlo Montiel. The number two, the right back. Scored a penalty for Argentina as they went to World Cup glory. Can he score for Sevilla? And lay his hands on a second trophy to Silverware this year. Montiel oh, no, saves! Save. Rui Patricio with a huge save for Roma and they're back huge. in it. They are that back in huge. it potentially. But and this that, has to be converted. I can converted. tell you what, that was not a bad penalty. Not at all, a huge start. That is a brilliant save. From the Portugal number one. Yes, wow. huge, huge this shot from Patricio. Though. Who's it going to be? A oh, penalty kick review. Review in the... Was Patricio off his line? He's off his line. They're retaking Patricio it. Patricio's off his line. It's a retake. Montiel has to go again. Oh, Montiel gets lucky. Encroachment? Yeah, that means he's off his line. Oh, okay. I've, I thought like... Someone ran Patricio in. off his line. That's a huge call from Stuart Apple on VAR. And Montiel now gets another go. Job. Montiel. Second time. And, and he, he scores. smashes it home. And Sevilla win. Sevilla have won the Europa League. I mean, it's not. It's anticlimactic due to the way they've done it, but they will not mind that at all. A huge final penalty from Montiel. He missed it, was allowed to retake it, and now, well, the Budapest stewards can do little to stop their fans sprinting onto the field. The Sevilla fans are going crazy. The Sevilla players are loving it, and, well, Budapest needs to get some security. I'd, I'd give up as a steward. It's gone to. Chaos. Sevilla oh, are your 2023 Europa League champions, the kings of the Europa League. They've done it again. They always win it. I think as much as people think that Man United might have to get rolled over, I have faith that we are in for a good game today. Regardless, and it won't yeah. be that one-sided. I look at back to you know the, the game at Old Trafford this season where United went 1-0 down, they overturned it against City. This is not a foregone conclusion, it's an FA Cup final. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. Anything could happen.
Okay, good one. Knocks it back. Man City have got us started here at Wembley for the 2023 FA Cup final. Who will win? Make sure to vote in the poll and chat. Make sure to keep chat active throughout and leave your thoughts. LK Gundogan, oh, what a hit! 14 seconds in, LK Gundogan pings a volley into the top corner. I didn't get to sit down. What a strike. And that is the perfect start for Manchester City with a beautiful goal from the German creative midfielder. The ball it just hangs in the air for him and he volleys home at De Gea who hasn't even warmed into the game yet. Bonaventura. The keeper's going in the box. He's charging Rolling. in there. Met by... Oh, it was, He's going out for a goal there. kick. That should be it. It's a goal yeah. kick. That'll be it. That'll be it. They're fighting. I know it's having to be protected. That's it. That's it. That's it. West Ham are your Conference League champions. The 2023 Conference League is won by West Ham. 14th in the Premier League this year. But they are champions in Europe. This is a story and a, a tale that will be told by future generations for years to come. Of the time that West Ham narrowly avoided relegation but went to Prague and won the Conference League. What a moment for West Ham. They win 2-1 on the night at half-fort season. And Declan Rice bows out a club legend in the best possible situation. Mkhitaryan, Varea, Mkhitaryan, Gozens. This has got to go into the box. It's another shit delivery. Bellanova. He wants to cross it. Ball in. Oh, Gozens. Across the box. Look at that. How has he missed? How is that not in? How has he missed? I do not know how it's not going to go. Oh my god. That was it. That was the chance for Inter Milan. Romelu Lukaku. Oh my god. Oh my god. With two minutes to go, that could be costly. It's another How massive chance on gone away. Earth. A ball in from DeMarco. Flicked, from Vla from, flicked on by Laudaro and out for a goal kick. Lukaku's got to finish. There's no other way about that. Romelu Lukaku has to finish that. Oh, he's, he's hit, he's hit it straight at the ground. keeper. He's, why did he put it into the ground? He said, and it towards the keeper, look. Just put it anywhere. It strikes his knee. They get very lucky, City. Diaz almost puts it in his own net. They're going to take the corner. This is it. This is the Champions League final in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. We're in, <laughs> nearly in the sixth minute of time. DeMarco. DeMarco. Vidal. What's he say? Brozovic, what's he... F oh, he's funny. Oh, and that's it. Manchester City are your European champions. Their first ever European title for the club founded in 2008. What a moment for Manchester City. Guardiola rejoices as he finally, finally wins a Champions League title with Manchester City. It's been a long time coming. They came, they came so close in the past, 2021. They lost in the final. But in 2023, they win. Manchester City are your Champions League winners for 2023. And this has surely got to be it. Yes. New Zealand have done it. It's their first ever World Cup win. Jit Klim Klimkova in tears on the sidelines. The players sprinting onto the field to congratulate their teammates. And that's a magnificent moment for the hosts. The Czech manager is elated. Of course she would be. That is what huge. a moment for New Zealand. That is huge. Are we good? Are we live? I think we are. Hello all and welcome back to the Football Chat Live. The Women's World Cup continues and we are up very, very early in the morning here in the UK for USA versus Netherlands. Should be a really exciting encounter. A game which could definitely decide who tops Group E, which is very crucial, obviously, for the seeding further into the tournament. So, very important match today between the two finalists of the 2019 final. Of course, the USA won. They always do. But, yeah, very exciting game. Oh, how excited are you, Harry? So excited. This yeah. has to be a good game. It's too early for it to be nil-nil. But, no, um, should be a very, very good game, a very, very exciting game. Uh, should be very, a lot closer than that final that we saw in 2019. I'm very excited for this one. Camera switch put her off. O'Hara from 12 yards for the USA. Steps up. She's hit the post! She's, She's hit the, the post. post! And it's huge! She tries to place it in the corner. She's missed. 
Wow. I think Elish said just realised that she's now got to take the penalty to win. I think it's Elish said set up. Oh my god. She tried to play it, she played it calm, wow. played it cute, didn't put any power on it, and it's basically just passed it onto the post. Sweden inhalation. It's hurting. Hurting Lena Hurtig. The win it for Sweden. The to- Arsenal wing could knock USA out of the I World Cup. This. I do not believe this. From 12 yards, Lena Hurtig steps up. Gustafsson's already excited. He's, he's pumped. pumped. He's, he's, ready, he's, pumped. Re- he's getting ready to run on. Hurtig. He believes in his to player. Lena Hurtig. Save. Oh, what a save. Oh, oh, he he got the line. What a save. No, it didn't. She's saying it didn't. She saved it. It went up They're in the air. It. They're and checking then it. And it bounced towards the goal. are having a look. She Did scrambled it, it off the line. Will it has it crossed the line? Lena Hertig is saying it does. Huge moment. Musovic says it does. Obviously, they are. Stephanie Frappon says it's the decision. She wants her to go away so she can be. In, go. Good. Wait, no. It's over. It's a goal. It's three one. It's one. Wow. It's a little anticlimactic, but they will not care how they've done it. Neha thought she'd saved it twice. But it will count for Sweden. They've done it on penalties. The reigning double champion wow. for the United States are out in the round of 16. Sweden pull off the most fantastic comeback. The most brilliant underdog story ever. We thought they were dead and buried after three penalties after missing. But Sophia Smith and Megan Raffano both missed crucial penalties. And then Kersh O'Hara against the USA. outside of the post. And Lena Hurtig has scored the winner for Sweden. Now for Sevilla Gadej, the captain. Edison trying some mind games. Just take it now because if Edison saves it, it's off his line. Yeah. Edison now finally reaches his line. Gadelia. Mm. Gadej. Again, going for the straight run up. Steps up. Oh, oh it's bar. against the bar. Manchester City win the Super Cup wow. for the first time in their history. It took penalties, but Guardiola pumps his fist in celebration. Manchester City, a 5 4 penalty win. The crowd against some like he saved that. Maybe his mind games in the build up were what was needed. Goodell's crashing a pen against the bar. He'll be gutted. Man City elated. And now it's just a matter of moments until the ref blows a whistle. And Spain. Our world champions, there it goes. 20 days of this tournament since the start. Oh, 30 days actually. Spain, crowned champions of the world for the first time in their history. England, not good enough on the day. Spain, brilliant throughout the tournament. A 1 0 win in the final, and there, well, the courtesy of an Olga Carmona goal in the first half. Other than that, not a lot of action. England were shite. Ref was poor, and Eng- but Spain will not care. Gotta love an award. They can never uh, yeah. draw us. Like, you can never just get on with it, can they? It's the, never just right. We'll pull that couple names out there. That words were the draw starts at five. It is five oh one, and it, the draw hasn't started. Yeah. A few moments later. We've still got twenty minutes until the draw. We thought it was five o'clock, which I mean, yeah, it was. starts at five o'clock. It's still not started. One hour later. They're going to waffle. I might go quickly. Uh, for fun. I'll just oh, need a couple yeah. minutes and then. Oh, yeah. We're going to waffle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you've got a little advert. Let's talk about Vinicius Junior's upbringing and superb. <laughs> him being in the... Oh, Dutchy Commander. That's what you want for a chapter two draw. They're just, I don't know what's going on. Much, much, much later. Here we go. Oh, no. What's the point? He's gonna... got one. Oh, can he oh. undo it? Yes, he can. Opens the bowl. First ball, the Cassidy draw at 23 oh, past five. I think it's going to be fired. It's fired yeah. in the opening. Yeah. Oh. yeah. The draw is underway, everybody. It does hurt. I think Jordan Henderson has caused a lot of hurt for the LGBTQ Q plus community. He was re- seen as a real role model, as someone who was standing up. Because football is quite, it can feel very ostracising as a gay football fan, because football is very heterosexual. Very, oh, you do with your mates, drinking pints down the pub. But... And Henderson was, you know, someone who stood up for, for gay people in, in that context. So for him to go, it is, it's painful. Especially given our, I think there's one other role model 
in Connor Cody usually does the Rainbow Laces campaign. Yeah, he, he puts but, an on one. Yeah, and I, you know, respect to him for the fact he's not gone to Saudi yet. He, he, he kicks out. He's a red car. He's a red car. He kicks out. It's a red car. It's a red car, referee. Not so he's well on. He's well on while you don't. I want, I want a red car for Romero. We need to check this on VR. Andrew Taylor, get your technology out. Does that cost Sterling's hand, though? No, go. That's got to be a red card for Romero as well. Romero kicks out him. He's a red card. Someone show me the replay. Really off the hand of Sam, they're going to give this against us. We've got to send a, a Romero off anyway. Here, so here, here. Check this. Because he does just kick Lee Wright card. card. Yes, yeah, a, a red card. card. I, nothing, I want nothing else but a red card. He's, that's incredibly stupid. He should be gone for that. It, like, don't get me wrong, it's not possible, but you can't just kick players. Stop checking the anvil and send off Romero. A few moments later. See, I knew that one off John Brooks, you prick. Come on, Chaps. Most guys say, though, I'm wearing level. And that's offside. How is it offside? How is it Are you possibly? taking the piss? How is it possibly offside? What's offside? What is offside? Oh, my God, man. I'm fed up with this game. I'm fed what up with this game already. How is that offside? Much, much, much later. I feel for Brian Johnson here because he's been pulled off. And now Cole Palmer being forced oh, to the pitch. Oh, what's he doing? Overplayed it. Brilliant. Enzo's pounced on that, though. I bloody love that, man. Oh, Ryan, what are you and, So Jackson's just kicked it at Enzo, who's running. Bruno slides it towards Garnacho, plays it to Maguire. Tom and Oh, fuck's sake. It's so silly. It's so stupid from Chelsea because we just don't deal with it. We just don't deal with the ball. We basically just sit there and go, yeah, go on, have a fucking shot. Everyone have a shot. Maguire's bursting into the box for Christ's sake. It's a shit show. It's a complete shit show. We just don't deal with the ball at all. And then McTominay tucks into an empty net once all the defenders are across the floor. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but we really like we were getting somewhere, and we've been tanked by Newcastle, and tonight's been a shit show. We're in, we're in. by the way. We're in Sterling, in stop. behind, to Nicholas Jackson. What are we doing? For fuck's sake, Jackson, lad. What are we doing? He just overthinks it. Just score. What's the problem? He makes the Astrid wet for picks and get on with fucking shooting practice. Learn how to shoot. 2023, almost over. We've got one last thing coming in a couple of days. But in the meantime, thank you guys very, very much for watching this year. Harry, anything you want to say to our loyal viewers out there that are watching today? I mean, it's been a brilliant year. I think at times it was probably our best year as a channel. I've thoroughly yeah. enjoyed it. We've had some brilliant, brilliant moments, as you've just seen. And I can't wait for next year. Hopefully it's even better and bigger and more fun. Yeah, more of the same. But we've also got the Euros 2024. I'm very excited for that out in Germany. Coming home. It, Coming hopefully, home. Hopefully it is. We've got loads of other stuff planned and on a personal note, this has been one of the best years of my life and I absolutely love doing this. So thank you guys very, very much. You make this possible. So appreciate it and hopefully we can keep growing and hopefully you guys keep enjoying the stuff we're doing. 
In the meantime, go check out the Christmas podcast from a couple of days ago because that was very, a very long recording, a very long day for all of us in here. A very enjoyable day. It's one of our favourite recordings of the year. So go check that out and then look out for Monday because we've got a little thing coming. Can we put a little teaser at the end of this video? 100%. We can. Look out for that teaser in just a second. But thank you guys very, very much for watching in 2023. And uh, we'll see you next year. See ya.